Standard 6, Subject English Lesson number 1.3, Autobiography of a Great Indian Bustard Dear children, before I start this lesson, I would like to give you a short introduction related to this lesson. The autobiography is a history of a person's life as narrated by that person which could be done in written or oral form. In this lesson, the author acquaints us with the different physical characteristics of the great Indian bustard. He also talks about their habitat, their eating habits and other details apart from providing information about their young ones. So dear children, this was the short introduction related to this lesson. As you can see the subparagraph of the lesson, your eyes start. You know that we birds lay eggs and our young ones hatch out of the eggs. Now here the great Indian bustard is saying that as you know that we birds lay the egg and we wait to young ones to come out from the egg. Mother, G-I-B. Now what is meant by G-I-B? G-I-B means great Indian bustard. So your mother, great Indian bustard, lays just one egg directly on the ground. We don't believe in building the nest. But, so mother great Indian buster lay just one egg directly on the ground. They don't build any nest to lay egg on the nest. They only directly lay down the egg on the ground. As you might see the other word dear children, they build a nest to lay the egg. But here the great Indian mother just lay one egg directly on the ground and they don't build any nest to lay the egg. Let's move to the next sub paragraph of the lesson dear children. We have a special trick to protect our eggs from predictors. Now what is meant by predictors dear children? Predictors means animals that hurt, kill and eat other animals or their eggs. So here the great Indian buster is saying that we birds are having special trick to protect our eggs from the predictors. The eggs look like a stone. Now here he is saying that our eggs look like a stone. Monitor lizards, foxes, dogs pig, snakes and eagles are enemies of my egg and chick. Now your great Indian buster has mentioned the enemy of his egg and chick. So here are the monitor lizard, foxes, dogs, pig, snake and eagle who harms the great Indian buster egg and chick. But my wife protects the egg from all of them. So your great Indian buster is saying that his wife always protects the egg from all of them. The enemy who harms the great Indian buster egg and chick. But then also the great Indian buster wife always protect the egg from all of them. By the time our young one hatches out of the egg, rains arrive, there's plenty of frost, swimming with insects, fresh food for my family. Now your great Indian buster is selling that when our chicks come out from the egg, so till then the rainy season arrive and there we find plenty of grasses, swimming insects, fresh food for his family. Young ones of other birds soon fly away from the nest but a great Indian bustard mother and chick stay together for nearly one year. Now your great Indian bustard is giving example of other bird. So he is saying that you might be seen other bird when they grow up little bigger. So soon they fly away and leave their nest. But a great Indian bustard mother and chick stay together for nearly one year. So here the great Indian bustard mother and the chicks stay together mostly for one year. The chicks learns many good habits from the mother. Now here the great Indian mother is saying that the chick and mother stay together mostly for one year and the chicks learns many good habits from their mother. So dear children, hope you all understood the second part of this lesson. Thank you.